Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Fire Emblem Echoes for Nintendo 3DS. Today's episode is all about continuing on with Celica's Path, so I'm excited to bring it to you guys. Uh, let's jump on board and uh, see what's happening. So if you guys are excited for the episode, definitely smash that like button. So previous episode, we made our way out of the, uh, the forest right over in this area. Seems pretty cool, it was kind of scary, we found a couple different items in there, so let's move on. Uh, now I'm really excited to show you guys Delthea. Uh, which I've been working on a lot off screen. Oh my gosh, Delthea is so good. So right over here, Delthea is looking pretty sweet. I mean, we have been abusing the Star Jacinth for the longest time. And you can see these stats. We're in the 40s, we're in the 30s for a lot of stats. And yet, some units on this team are barely even in double digits. So she's going to be absolutely amazing. So without further ado, uh, we're going to jump on in. Let's go. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see what happens. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Storming of Doomagate. Uh, what's gonna happen here? Let's see if we remember this level from Gaiden. Okay, oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I do remember this level from Gaiden. Uh, this was scary because there's a lot of different units that uh, will teleport all over the place and they'll just wreck you with, uh, with their magic and thunder. Thunder's very strong and they can attack from many spaces away. So that's kind of scary. Once you get past all these witches though, this part gets really scary because we've got Jamil over here. He looks like your average, what, dark priest, canter, monk looking character. Uh, so Jamil has the ability death, which is scary and it'll hurt a lot if you don't have good resistance. And he also has upheaval, earth magic that deals damage to all opponents. Ooh, he's also holding onto a gold mark, which is great. Uh, he's accompanied by a canter over here that can make uh, any kind of enemies. We've got some uh, undead Duma faithful fiends and some dread fighters. So we're going to be okay. Those dread fighters are going to be speedy. But uh, what we should really focus on doing is Leon is my key to winning. Leon's my key to winning because he can attack from so far away. His bow range plus two. He can attack from so far away. We can pick off this guy. And we can pick off the main boss just by doing that. And he's going to be your, your MVP of the episode. Of course, we have a bunch of these witches here. And these witches in the forest are going to be hard to hit. So be careful about them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out my flying units. We're going to bring our flyers over here. Uh, yes, just like this. And by having our flyers over here, we can totally wreck these ladies. And then we just need to be careful because... Uh, Valbar is here, and Valbar is going to take a lot of damage if they teleport and try to attack him. So I'm going to bring my Dread Fighters right over this way. Uh, Conrad, I mean, he's really not doing much. But I do want to bring Sonya and May. Yeah, we can bring May over. Okay, I think this is good. So let's fight, and let's see what happens. All right, so first strategy is picking off some of these witches, right? Okay, so I'm going to pick off one of them. Actually, I can pick off a far one, can't I? Oh, and I can also talk. We can go talk to Valbar. That's great. Yeah, I'm going to go right here and we're going to pick off this one. Oh, yeah, combat animations. That's right. Uh, if I had a nickel every time I forgot combat animations, I'd have one nickel. At your no, service. I'm kidding. I'm really bad about that. All right, so we're going to toss a Sonyan right over here at this lady. Uh, the Sonyan is a, I don't, know, I don't know if it's called a legendary weapon, mythical weapon, a super rare weapon, but it's a rare drop that you can find in the DLC Inner Sanctum. And with the DLC Inner Sanctum, you can uh, get a lot of good rare drops. We did. We were very lucky. Alright, so we're going to land a hit on this lady here. You Their voices are kind it. of Leave scary, just a little bit. All right, and then of course we're going to aim a hit over here. Now, in my previous playthroughs of the game, if you guys to pay attention over here, it says 100% with some orange on there. So that means that the orange isn't even more. It's just already accounted for in the numbering. So I was wrong whenever I said that in uh, in previous episodes. Um, so yeah, I noticed that. That was pretty cool. Let us proceed. So, do we have any other people that want to talk? Ready any? All right. <laughs> I'll mow them. You want it? No, you we don't. It. Okay, so that's okay. May is going to come over here. 
we're gonna go over here with Celica. Um, ooh, I just miss it. I just miss the ability to get these ladies. I don't have um, a sword that attacks from two spaces because, yeah, because lightning swords are garbage. <laughs> Conrad. All right, so we're gonna move up. We're just gonna bring all of our units over. And I don't know, I mean, leaving Valbar towards the back here, I mean, it's gonna be okay. Wow, I can attack you from so far? I need a crit though, in order to do any work. Yeah, okay, so I I'm kinda worried about Valbar. Not gonna lie, I'm, I think that he's gonna get rocked right now. We may have to use Mila's turn wheel. Because Valbar's not gonna do anything for us on this map, unfortunately. I'm in top condition. Oh, cool. Sweet. Oh, hello, Conrad. Huntees. Is that you, sister? Well, yes, of course, but... <laughs> huh? What's so funny? <laughs> Sorry, it's just... I know in my head it's you, but you just look so intense with that mask on. It's like I have two different brothers. Oh, what? Come on. I'm the only brother you need. <laughs> yes, you're right. One is more than enough. Nice. Okay, so moving on. Watch everyone destroy Valbar now. <laughs> or maybe not. We, we brought them some pretty good, um, like, bait. I don't know if you want to say the Dread Butters are bait, but they have some pretty good resistance on them. And then Bowie's taking nine damage from these. He can't take too many more. I hope they don't all team up on Bowie. Oh no, not Valbar. Oh, Conrad. So, four damage? Okay, that's not bad. And who are you gonna attack, Valbar? Or Noma. All right, Noma's, Noma can take no da one damage from this. Two. But Noma's not really offensive, so. I don't know. He, he came too late to the game. I don't know what we're going to do with him. And Bowie. So, Valbar dodged a bullet, essentially, and Bowie dodged lightning, which is pretty good, and retaliated back with a 17 crit rate, and didn't even get one. That's okay. Alright, so the Cantor is going to bust out four of these little gargoyles, and now we need to run over and start doing some work. Okay, so how much work can I do? Oh, I can get a KO. If you can get a KO while holding on to the Star Jason, we're gonna do it. Even if you take four damage. It's over. No. That hardly felt spoiled. The power of the Star Jason, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Uh, I guess my White Wings can start flying on in. Um, I don't want to get hit by this guy, so I am gonna stand a little bit uh, closer. Actually, I do want to bait out some of these guys. And if I'm able to bait out some of these guys, then... Oh, we can swap positions if we wanted. Okay. And I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go right here. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit safer. All right, so now, can I... Oh, I just want to shoot this guy. Like, I want to shoot this little dude right here. Yeah, I think we can. 94% hit rate with two hits and a crit on the first Excuse one. Dude, me? Leon's got this. So if you guys are playing along with me and your units are may or may not be as strong as mine are, that but that's okay, just make done. sure that you use Leon to KO any of the little um, shamans because those guys are insane. All right, so now who needs some experience? Celica? Yeah, let's do a little bit of work right next to Conrad. Uh, we're gonna throw some fire, it'll be fine. Spin that hot fire. Grant me strength. Boom! 63 crit with a 23% chance to get it. Okay, that's not bad. It's better than Bowie, right? Alright, we got this Lady Blade. Let's put it to good use. I want to find out what kind of um, specials or passives you can unlock by holding on to the Lady Blade. The Lady Blade was gotten in the DLC, so that's uh, exactly what we did there. And of course, we now have Brave Sword with Saber. Gonna fly right through. Saber is probably one of the units that will overclass Damn, first because he's at level 15 whereas oh atlas is pretty high up there too 
Didn't realize that. I don't remember putting that much work into Atlas, but he's good. <clears throat> Atlas is very good. And having four Dread Fighters on the team, although you may think that it's uh, it's a little overkill, but they're one of the best units in the game, so you might as well do it. I'm good to go. All right, so we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna do a little bit of healing. Actually, I'm not gonna heal him. I'm going to physic. Who else? You. I'm gonna physic you just so you're at tip-top shape. We'll use Noma to heal you. Way to go, Noma. And we're gonna come over this way, and we're good. <clears throat> So, we've got Sonian, and unfortunately, with Sonian, it's only two to three uh, attack spaces. So, if anyone comes point blank and attacks us, we can't retaliate back. Unlike Gradivus, man, Gradivus is awesome. Gradivus is a, uh, it's one of the three regalia. You can get it by fusing, uh, or at least forging your blessed lance into a three star. And then spending, I think, like, what, five gold marks-ish, like around there? in order to evolve it into a Gradivus, which is a lot of money. And you can only get that amount of money if you have the DLC to grind it. <clears throat> okay, so we're doing okay over here. Um, I didn't realize that I had the Sonian and I wouldn't be able to retaliate against these guys, so it's kind of lame on my part. But if only I had more Gradivuses. Gradivi. <laughs> Gradivi. All right, so this dude's charging up his attack. We need to get going on this guy. <clears throat> I have all my flyers over here, so let's do some work. Oh, here's a ninja. Hold on. I can... I'm going to try to get this guy. We have our flyers that can get into place, right? No, I got gargoyles in the way. Nah. Dude, the gargoyles are in the way. Ah, that's annoying. I was going to say, like, can I fly on over to be in place of the triangle attack? No, I can't. So we're going to take this hit, unfortunately. So unless we do this... <clears throat> attack you with Gradivus? No, that's actually a bad idea. <clears throat> I'm going to go right here <clears throat> and try to attack him with Gradivus that way. Okay, there's a two attack, and then we could bring Saber, or sorry, uh, Jesse over here to finish this guy off with Mercurius. Mercurius is a one of the other regalia. There's three regalia. There's Mercurius, there's Parthia, and there is Gradivus. Mercurius is the sword counterpart. So I'm going to hope that I can stand right here and maybe use an art against him, Hunter's Volley. Hunter's Volley has a good crit rate, and it's strong, but it's only... I don't know. We can try. 56% crit. We might get it. Hunter's Volley. In your ignorance of Duma's teachings at your own peril. Yes. Wait. Yes. <laughs> Duma's blessings be upon us. Sorry, Jamil. Hunter's Volley. That's a pretty cool art that you can get if you uh, maxed out the killer bow on a character. So good job on that. Um, yeah, we have the bad weapon for this level. So let's let's do some work here. Sonian. Rampart. I mean, I guess I could... Mm. Now we just have to clean up the mess. You know, it's like, what do we do here? I can go for the Sonian, maybe get a 31% crit. Or not. Maybe get the 12% crit. How do you get a 12% when we had like 31 last time? Alright, whatever. Maybe it's due to our luck stat. I'm proud of you both. Alright, proud of you both. Good job. I'm kind of worried about Leon, so what we're gonna do right now with our white magic is we're gonna physic him back up to full. Because this little mage can come over here and do some crazy work against him. And then what we need to do... Don't we have rewarp? Yeah, we do. We got we got rewarp. So we can warp all the way over to him. Yeah, and we'll be set for the next turn. Sonya's awesome that way. 
Sonya has the ability to warp in and out. I should have healed her before I warped her in there, so that's a mistake on my part, but that's okay. Not a big deal. We're gonna go charge just to get all of our characters a little bit forward some more. So I don't have to do it manually. Okay, so yes, like I thought, he was gonna be going for, for 22 damage. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Well, Excuse he deserved me? this. No! It's unfair how good I am. It is pretty unfair. I agree with you on that. Alright, so again, we're just going to be taking these one damages because we don't have a Javelin or a Gradivus, so this is kind of a waste of time. Uh, yep, attacking us, skip that. We're taking one damage, which is not bad. I mean, we got some pretty good defense on our uh, White Wing, so... Maybe the Sonian wasn't the best weapon to bring here, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to level up the passives so I can learn something new. I don't even know what they what they are. So I'm up for anything. Uh, we're gonna jump right over here into another attack art, or maybe just a straight up attack because we're gonna win anyway. So what's the point in wasting your uh, your health if you could just KO these guys from so far away anyway? <laughs> Okay, excellent work. Oh, good, good. So now that means that we can indeed break these guys. Uh, I'll come over here with some high crit Excalibur. Should be okay. Give me one. Dude, really? Come on, Sonya. I'm hyping you up about you're a really good unit. And you treat me like that? All right, all right. So we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna attack this guy with the Gradivus and then maybe we can do a triangle attack. Yourself. Yeah. Boom, 72, you're done. That's the Gradivus, ladies and gentlemen. Looks great. You are giving me high hopes. <clears throat> we're gonna wait here, and we're gonna go triangle attack. I hope this works. Ready to strike! Ready to, Ready to strike! Better you than me. Triangle attack! No. Done. Sorry, man. We were trying to triangle attack the boss, but that's okay. That's All right, Kamui, Mr. Bobui. Let's get this guy with a 28% crit, hopefully. No, way. no. Whoa, double dodges, but then he's like, you know what? I'm going to turn it on. Click. I'm doing this for the money. KO. Wait, what? Oh, really? Okay, okay. That's cool. I'm going to run after him with you. Conrad. That's just. Uh, is his name Conrad or Bruno? Why do I keep on wanting to call him Bruno? Where's that from? Who's Bruno? Who the heck is Bruno? Alright, uh, what do we need to do? We're pretty much done. We can go tactics, oh, charge, yes. and then call it a day. And then we're almost done recording the episode, right? All right, let's do this. We're gonna do an attack here. We're gonna do the Excalibur. <laughs> what are you doing here? Hello. Hello. We're playing some Fire Emblem. All right, so we're gonna go. Yes, we're gonna go over here. Everyone say hello to Jess. Hi, Jess. Goodbye. Yeah, go find some Seats. Someone rang the doorbell. Oh, that was you ringing the doorbell. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so let's knock out this fool. Excuse me. Pretty easy. Of course, if you have any White Wings that are uh, at the Falcon Knight class. Oh, we got a rusted bow. Huh. Whoa, wait a second, a rusted bow, what? Did we just get one of the rarest drops in the game? Was that a random drop or did he have that on him? I really have to take a look at the replay. The rusted weaponry in the game, believe it or not, is something that you don't want to sell. You want to bring it over to the forge and then you can forge it into something random. And you can get like a Parthia or something crazy ridiculous on it. Uh, I've heard people that have gotten the um, a rusted shield and they've fused it and they were able to get something really awesome with it. So 
Uh, right now, what I'm going to do is we're going to go away. Is there a blacksmith in the hamlet area? Yes, there is. We're going to go to the smithy. We're going to click on forge and go over to the rusted bow. We're going to forge this into something new. Evolve the rusted bow for one gold mark? Yeah, sure. It turned into Luna. Are you kidding me just now? What? That is the best, one of the best bows in the game. Are you joking right now? Dude, what? Hold on, 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 hold on. I don't know what's happening right now. I have no clue what's happening right now. Leon. Leon. What? Dude, look at this thing. A legendary bow. Ten might. Wow, range one to three. Okay. Dude, that's great. And Luna actually gives us a brand, a, an unlearned art. Wow. Dude, we got one of the legendary weapons just now. Oh my goodness gracious. On screen too. Wow, we didn't have to grind for that. Okay, so that's free to play, man. I got a free to play Luna just now. I'm free to play, by the way. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not. Totally not. All right, that's awesome. Uh, we're not going to go here. We're going to exit out. Uh, but yeah, I think what we need to do now is leave the hamlet. And I think we're going to save and just be really good right now. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I want to get Conrad up. Like I do. I want to go into the grind. Let's get Conrad going. Um... Yeah, yeah, I do. Swamps of Duma. I don't know what's going to happen after we fight this guy. In Gaiden, what happens is that um, Jetta takes Celica and her team all the way up to Duma's tower, and then you don't see him again until the end of the game. So before we do that, I want to make sure that our characters are good and ready. You know, like I want to do some overclassing. We're going to do some other stuff. We'll see. We'll see. So anyway, let's end off the episode right here. I think we ended on a pretty good note. Getting Luna? That's awesome. So, I know that there's a soul weapon in the game. There's an astro weapon in the game. I think that's going to be super cool. So, yeah, I can't wait. Next episode, we're going to go uh, and attack Jetta, And we'll see what happens afterwards. Um, I'm honestly not sure if we have to go to Duma Tower. Uh, and then, like, explore it. But, anyway, that's it. <laughs> a, little, a little bit shorter of an episode, but still super sweet. So, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the gameplay, you know what to do. Smash that like button, and of course, share the video with a friend. We're going to continue on with even more Fire Emblem Echo, so stay tuned for it. We're very close to the end of the game, and I just want to keep on grinding units and getting them going. Like, I want to get them all overclassed. Is that a cool thing, or what? Anyway, watch the playlist over here. Newest video on the channel, their recommendations, and make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest Fire Emblem Echoes and Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo Switch content. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.